Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and I'm here today with my second update for Pan of Green Gables. This is a Pantastic Ladies group collab that was created by Anna. Her channel is My Makeup Insanity here on YouTube. And it's all about Anna of Green Gables. There's eight prompts and it's an eight month project to represent the eight books in the series. I am not doing this rolling style. I, I mean, I don't think most people are. I have eight products and they are going to be in for the duration of the project. And some of them I am trying to finish. Others I am not. I just want to get use on these eight products. So with that being said, we will start with the first prompt, which is hair as red as carrots. And that is something red. And I picked my Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick in HD Gladiolus. This is what I have on my lips today. I think I was a dummy. I didn't write down because I have like soft goals and then I have like some harder goals if and when I meet the soft goal. So I ideally I would like to finish this, which I don't think is going to happen, but I think for everything my soft goal is basically like 30 uses. So I have used this three more times this month for a total of five uses on this. So I need to step it up or I'm not even gonna hit my soft goal of 30 uses. I do have a, like a, a tracker sheet for this because this has been in other projects. It did not move. So I really need to use this more. Next for Lake of Shining Waters, it is a shiny product and I picked a nice like glittery reflective nail polish. This is the Julep polish in the shade Lani. And I do, I have it topped over a yellow, like a darker yellow. I don't know if you can, it's so reflective that my camera doesn't want to focus, but it is very pretty. This is the only manicure I've used this polish with this month. I could make a new line. I don't know, but it's, it would be just right under there so I don't really see the point. This is one that I want to use it at least 15 times but I I want to try to finish it because this only has eight mils of product which is about half of a standard nail polish and I used it twice last month but I did like full manis where I did a like two coats of this and you can see I mean it was new when I brought it in and two manis it went down to here so I think if I like use it on its own a couple times and like top it a couple times, I don't think it will be a problem to actually finish this if I do my nails. I have been, I have been super busy at night lately where that's the time that I usually paint my nails and I just, I haven't had time to paint my nails as often as I would like. So the progress on like all of my nail polishes and all of my progress is really so the progress on all of my nail polish and all of my products oh my gosh why can i not say the word project so the progress on my nail polishes and all of my projects is very slow for this past month i still got um a semi big job that i'm working on for work that will honestly affect my nail polish usage for the next week or so hopefully i will able to get into more of a routine again after that is done but we're not there yet so that is up to three total uses up I didn't say it already and I don't remember if I did next is broken slate a product that is broken or damaged that is my revolution pro luster highlighter in white rose this is looking sadder and sad like I am so I baby this thing and it's looking sadder and sadder and I haven't tried to repress it yet because I still have like a lot of that pretty flower detailing left. But I, I think it's time. This is just, I mean, well, the mirror is super dirty because there's all loose powder in there. But you can see just how sad looking this is. Here, let me see if I can wipe some of that away. Look at how sad that is. It's just, and I'm losing so much product just from it being loose in there and like pieces falling out when I open it. So I know I need to repress it. I'm just sad. That one also, I believe I have just like a a minimum 30 use goal. Obviously, if I hit 30 uses, I'm just, 
I'm going to keep it in the project. If I hit 30 uses, I just want to try to at least use it 30 times. And I've used it three times this month, including today, and I've got seven uses on it. The next prompt is my borderline obsession with Gilbert Blythe, and that is a product that starts with G, and I have another Julep polish, you know, all the same, like, rules as the previous one. At least 15 uses, but I want to finish it. This is in the shade Ginny, and again, I've only used it one time this month. I use it for a pedicure. It's a little harder to see because it's a darker polish, and this is a dark black Sharpie line, but I'm right underneath here after that one extra use. So I didn't see the point in making another line. I only have two uses on this one, but this one, I think I had, I had a use or two on this, like from before I brought it in the project. So that's why they're about the same. They're at about the same level, even though this one, I have a less, I have one less use on this one, but it had some use on it before. Anyway, okay, next is puffed, why did that sound so weird? Puffed sleeves, something bulky or excessive. And I did, this is the only prompt where I actually rolled something else in because I had like a mascara in for this that had like super bulky packaging. It was a terrible mascara. I gave it a shot for a month. I hated it. It was super dry. It wasn't worth my time or effort. So I considered that item done, but... I also wanted to bring something else in for this prompt since it was only the first update. So I brought in my 28 fluid ounce Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasures. Honey, wow, I'm having such a hard time today. I think it's just because I'm hungry. Honey Treasures. Honey Treasures. There we go. Shampoo. I, I have it marked on both sides just in case like you know in the shower if one set of marks gets rubbed away or like washed away maybe the other one will be intact but I used it 13 times and that's how much we have left I'm not going to finish this in six months but I'm going to make some pretty decent progress on it this one was one I was kind of concerned because when I was having my skin issues that did like exacerbate them but now that like my skin has been fine for months, I haven't, and I've been using that pretty regularly, as you can tell from the 13 uses on it, and I haven't had any problems with it. So I'm very happy because I really, I was so happy when Garnier became cruelty free because I really love that shampoo. It smell and the conditioner, but I don't have the conditioner right now, but it smells so good. Even without like doing any extra leave-in conditioners or even hair masks or whatever, it just makes my hair feel so soft and I really like it a lot. So that is going to be, that is, I don't know, could it be done? I don't know. Let's see. Actually, it might be done. We'll see. I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibility. Let's say that. The next prompt is Green Gables, something green. I have this, again, this very sad looking liquid eyeshadow from JCat. It's their holographic 3D eye topper in the shade Wink Tink. And it's weird because it is, it's not like dried out like the Stila glitter and glows get, but you can see that a lot of the liquid, well, you can see that it's very far down. And that's not because I've used everything that was in here. It's because a lot of the liquid in the tube evaporated before I even started using this. So I just want to finish it because there's really, there's like this teeny little amount left. But I only, well, I use it twice this month. Okay. I use it twice this month for a total of four times. It's on, like, it's kind of hard to see because it's, it's an eye topper, but I do have it all over my other eyeshadows today and it's very pretty and I just again it's one of those like liquid shadow things where it's pretty but it's like this extra step that I just don't want to deal with so I never use it so hope I want to finish this in this project then the next prompt is Matthew Cuthbert something sweet and I brought in a foaming sugar scrub from my body bakery which it's an Australian brand that is no longer around, but this is in the scent Fluffy Lemon Clouds. I've used it three more times for a total of five. Oh, 
just smells so good. It's like lemon and buttery pastry is what it smells like to me. But I, I mean, I could fly through this if I wanted to, but I've been, usually what I've been doing is, I know you're not supposed to exfoliate after you shave, but whatever. I've been like you doing my body wash, normal body wash, and then shaving, and then just like using a little bit of this on my legs after I shave just to like smooth and polish everything out. So I'm not obviously using as much as I would if I do my whole body, but this is going to be done. It will be done before the end of the project. And if it's not, there's something very wrong with me because I could get through that in like a month if I really focused on it. Well, not even really focused on it. If I just used it normally, I would get through it in a month. But I'm trying to like, I'm trying to make it last because I'm trying to make it last because this project, because I am not making this a rolling project and there's still six months left. So I'm like, I don't need to force myself to use it up super fast. And the last prompt is for Marilla Cuthbert. She is a person who is very like stern and hard and disciplinary and on the outside, but she's, she's really just a misunderstood lady and she's super soft and sweet on the inside. So that the prompt for that is a cream or liquid product with hard packaging. And I brought in my Fenty Beauty cream blush in the shade Peach Face, which I believe this was just a limited edition holiday shade because I, I don't see it at Sephora or now at Ulta. But my goal for this is at least 30 uses. And then I don't remember if I wanted to like hit pan or if I thought I was going to be able to finish this all up in eight months. I don't know. But anyway, last month I had five uses on it and I've used it 12 times so far this month. I have it on today and actually like about half the time I will put something on top of it just because a lot of times I like to do that with my cream products anyway. But today I just have this cream blush on. I think this shade is so, so pretty. Why don't I show you the pan? But here it is. This is after 17 uses. Like there's not, I wouldn't even call it the start of a dip, but you can see, you can definitely tell that I've been using it. And when I do use it, okay, I like to swirl my finger through the whole pan, not just like dot it into one spot or whatever. But I love this color and I'm really liking this formula so much. I almost, almost bought another not, I'm obviously not the shade, but another one of these blushes at the Sephora sale. And then I stopped myself because one, I do not need any more blushes, cream or otherwise. And two, now that Fenty is at Ulta, I'd rather buy them at Ulta because their point system is better. So I, I resisted, but I'm really, really liking this. And obviously, as you can see, wait, did I tell you my number? <laughs> I don't know any I've used it 17 times so far I mean I could probably have my 30 uses on it next month but I'm not gonna take it out of the project after I hit 30 I want to see how much damage I can do to this so that was my last product for this project we besides this the sugar scrub uh, there's nothing in here that could in any way shape or form be done before the next update I, I'm going, I promise, I am going to repress that highlighter because it's just getting too difficult to work with. And so we'll see. I don't know how that, I'm not super great at repressing things. And like, I'm just really worried that I'm going to change the formula and I'm not going to like it anymore is honestly what it comes down to besides, you know, the part of the flower that's still intact is still really pretty because it's, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. This is a very, this isn't a super powdery highlight, even though it's a powder. It's got, it almost feels like a creamy powder blend, if that makes any sense. So I'm just really afraid. I don't know. Here's a swatch just because, even though it's on my face. I'm just really afraid that if I repress it, I'm going to change the texture and the formula of it and I'm not, it's not going to work anymore. So if you have any tips for repressing something like that kind of a product where it's not 
super powdery. There's like a little bit of creaminess to it, even though it is not a cream. Like, let me know your tips and tricks because it's just, I can't use it in its current form. It's, it really annoys me. So anyway, I think I already said I was going to end this video like five minutes ago and I didn't. So I'm going to do it now. I hope you enjoyed this update. I hope you are staying safe and sane and healthy. You're having a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.